So here it is, the long-awaited Halloween makeup tutorial that literally nobody asked for. <laughs> Not a single person, but we're doing it anyway. I didn't know whether to call this like a vampire turned zombie or like a succubus. I don't really know what it is, so you can decide for yourself. This is also very beginner friendly. Um, I am not a SFX artist. I am just a bored, unemployed creative with too much time on their hands. But as long as you have everything on this list, you should be fine. So you're gonna start by filing the fake nails into like a little tooth shape. It's honestly the most tedious part. It's kind of annoying. I decided to make a fang because I'm extra. Make sure you add like a bottom row, at least two teeth. Make them much smaller than the top teeth. And you're going to want to adhere them with any face safe adhesive. I'm using eyelash glue because that's all I had, uh, but it's honestly decent. Like it's not going to move. When you apply it to your face, try to follow your natural tooth line and make sure it's going upwards and not straight out. Otherwise, it won't look right. Then you're going to take tissue or toilet paper would probably work better. Um, if you're using anything that's two ply, split it apart so that it's like a single ply. Um, it's just easier to work with that way and you want to rip them into like really small pieces. Then you wanna take your hair gel and combine it with the tissue. Got to be glue's probably your best bet because it's really sticky, but any hair gel will work. And you're gonna to wanna to make sure your pieces are this small. Then you're gonna take your face safe adhesive. Once again, I'm using eyelash glue. Use that to apply the tissue. And right here, I'm just hitting the edges just to make it a little bit more seamless. Then you're going to want to uh, whip out the blow dryer or manually fan it if you don't have a blow dryer, but it's just going to speed up the process uh, of the drying. And right here, I'm taking like the back of a tweezer to uh, peel back the layers inside. Um, it's just to create like a skin flap, basically, to make it more realistic. So this is supposed to kind of emulate ripped skin. And you definitely want to use the back of like any flat tool to smooth down the edges. You might notice mine are not as smooth as they can be. I wasn't going anywhere with this, so I was just like playing around at home. But anyways, you want to hit it with some concealer or like a high coverage foundation. Anything that like matches your skin tone. And this is going to help the blending process just make it a lot more seamless. Really, Sergey? Sorry, my dog. <laughs> Now I'm just going in with like a smaller detail brush and some black eyeliner, excuse me, eyeshadow. Um, and that's just to give it a little bit more definition. Make sure to hit like under the little skin flaps. It's just going to add more detail and depth. Also try to focus around like in between the teeth and around the gum line. Uh, just to bring out like more of that definition and since we're talking about the teeth i recommend avoiding the lip let's put it in the corner in the mouth or outward sort of where the fang is otherwise it's going to move which is why i removed the front tooth now we're going in with the lipstick you can use fake blood uh most people don't have fake blood laying around though and i just feel like lipstick's a little bit better because it's not um gonna stain your skin at least this didn't stain my skin um but yeah make sure you hit that skin flap and then right here i'm just using concealer to kind of make like a fake gum line i'll zoom in in a sec so you can see um but it's just to create more depth again so here you can see sort of the gum line ish <laughs> And then now you're gonna take more um, of that tissue. I combine it with uh, some of the lipstick and some of the black eyeshadow. And this is gonna be like more of like a fleshy kind of part. It's kind of makes it a lot more realistic and grosser. You can see like zoomed in, it's pretty disgusting. Um, and then I'm using concealer to kind of bring out more of like the skin flap. Uh, I'm trying to make it look like it was ripped and the skin is like dangling. Also, if you want more of the glossy look, um, I used aloe vera to like bring that out, but I think it looks better matte. It's because it's easier to see the detail and it makes it like fleshy when the tissue starts to poke through. So here you can see kind of a gruesome close up. I also forgot to mention this. I used aloe vera um, with the lipstick to like thin it out and then I placed it like around the edges. Just once again makes it a little bit more seamless and creates kind of like an irritated bruised effect. And lastly, I just did my regular eye makeup. And this clip is just showing why the tooth 
positioning is important because if you do it right when you smile or open your mouth or move it in a certain way it does make the teeth clench or open but yeah anyway here's the tutorial thanks for watching bye